There are many different ways in which a business owner can protect his brand or his trademark. One of the most important is filing for a federal or a state trademark registration. A trademark can serve as both a shield and a sword for your business. It's a sword in that if you have a federal trademark registration, you have a leg up on your competition because it prevents any competitor that is in the same business from using a same or substantially similar trademark. It is also a shield in that if there is a party that tries to challenge your use of your trademark, um, your ability to show them that you have a registered trademark uh, prevents them from pursuing you for that purpose. Um, you, many business owners don't realize that you may have protection in your trademark simply by using the trademark in the territory in which you operate. This is what's called common law rights. They are limited to the very specific territory. So if I'm running a restaurant in the Orlando, Florida area, I only have rights in that Orlando, Florida area to that mark. It does not extend beyond the state of Florida or even a different city. So it's very territorial. And this is why um, the use of the trademark is not alone a method of protection, but it is simply a fallback in the event other methods of protection fail. A trademark is all the different ways in which you present your product and service to your consumer. It can be the words that you're identifying your product or service with, it can be the logo, or it can be the tagline, or it can be a combination of all those things. There are two avenues in which you can use to protect your trademark. You can either go with the federal process or the state process. The federal process is a um, process that allows you to have exclusive rights to your mark nationwide. The state process, of course, allows you to have state trademark protection in the particular state in which you have filed the trademark. The federal process is a much more um, lengthy process. It is more costly. Um, it, is, it is more time consuming. Um, but again, it gives you the nationwide protection. The state process, on the other hand, is more cost effective. The processing time is significantly reduced. Um, but it does limit you to just the state in which you filed your trademark. When you are looking at whether to do a trademark application, uh, the first thing that you want to do is to conduct a search of the register in which you're going to be filing for the trademark to see if there's any other conflicting marks out there. Somebody else may have already registered or applied for a trademark that is very similar to yours, and you want to look at and identify those folks to make sure that when you file, your trademark is going to go through. After you file the application, there's going to be a, some review period by the respective office or authority that you filed it with uh, to determine if there are conflicting marks. And there might be an opposition period thereafter in which other trademark owners might have an opportunity to oppose the registration of your marks. But once that process goes through, which could be anywhere from six to nine months when you're filing a federal registration and two to three months when you're filing a state registration, you will have a registered federal or state trademark.